what are infantry welcome back guys it's your host with the most ain't nothing close reginaldus today we're diving into infantry how to identify them and the traits that distinguish them from walkers and airship green background on skills green icon on troops even the dual tribes like tier 9 can use infantry skills but only infantry based type troops can use infantry awakening skill which i'm going to show you a demonstration here notice the first attack here will only hit that one slot all right it missed and now we got infantry awakening it hit both slots Awakening is subject to dodge. You must have accuracy. Here, I'm unreleasing Gilly to show you an example of how you get your fourth skill plugin, as well as you can equip a fourth skill plugin that are for all troops. Luckily, in this instance, we have the perfect example, which is Gilly, who is an infantry commander who happens to have a skill that can be used for all troops. And the way you know this is the gold skill icon here that is for all troops. Now watch this here so I'm exchanging it now to go ahead and create the plugin and now when I research it it will now be equipable by a commander you have to do this process before you're able to equip it on a commander perfect example here the fourth slot was open let's go here to perfect infantry preemptive boom that's how you get your fourth slot and as well as there's a chart on the right you can see how much it takes to get it to max level 1 to level 10 will take 10 shards level 1 to 20 will take 30 shards and level 1 to max level which is 30 will take 60 shards infantry has four different arch types aggressive anti-tier suppression disable and utility with the fourth skill plugin you can mix these arch types together to build complex strategy let's not forget that there are three different factions in arc of war early in your arc of war journey you come here to the command tower and you choose your faction and reap the benefits from being in that faction. Donating Cosmic Crystals to the Nixaw faction will grant you access to Stella and the faction reward box. Inside the reward box is the Nixaw equipment box, Mysterious Warrior Shards, Flower of Life, to Awaken Commanders. Inside the Voltar faction we have Yuri, Voltar equipment box, Hancock, and Awakening Crystals. Here I'm going to show you how to get an A-class commander to S-class without having 480 shards. Boom. Done. And that's because of the new system that's in place. You only have to finish that tree. Now going back to Madgewell, for just a quick peek, we'll cover more of this in the airship episode. Let's dive into the troops. Taking a moment for this brief intermission to let you know. Remember, go to Reginaldus Gaming, follow, like, subscribe if you're liking the content. Prepare yourselves, ladies. You're in for one hell of a show. If you're new to the channel, Take this moment to like and subscribe so you can find other high quality Ark of War videos just like this one. Now I take you to your host with the most, Reginaldus. This episode wouldn't be complete if we didn't do a troop breakdown, um, show basically the stats that the troops have by default and how the research affect those stats. So we're gonna break it into infantry, walkers, and airships. In tier one, you'll see clear as day that they have the most dodge and tier one and tier two can be used with bullet and anti-tier suppression commanders. Uh, bullet's the one that comes to mind for infantry. The next focus here is the difference between the HP and accuracy and the attack and the dodge you're seeing here on infantry. And airship, you'll notice that it's defense and crit chance. So each one has their different attributes. In the next episode, we'll go over the research. You'll be able to go see why those things change. As far as the relationship between all three classes, remember, infantry is known as the green, walkers are blue, and airship are red. So you see here, infantry beats airship, but airship beats walker. On each uh, class, you'll see that relationship triangle change based on what class you're on at that moment. And here we are at the tier sevens, as you see these uh, these attributes multiply. And then when we get to tier nine, you're seeing double classes. This is where the game gets a lot more creative. Now the base class will keep the awakening, and the uh, subclass you will not have the awakening from that subclass. And these are the from tier nine to eleven are the best sweet classes. Tier 12, there's four different types. This Great Sage type gives shields. The uh, next type, I believe, after that, yes, the, these are the defense type. The Mirage, the Phantom, and the Dream Eater. And these here, these actually regenerate troops every at the end of every turn. So really great. And these last ones have a, a very high base accuracy. So that's a general overview of all the troops. Oh, can't forget the last ones. These are crit damage. Notice the tier 12s are only one troop type. That's their disadvantage, but they have other advantages. Big shout outs to everyone who made it to the end of the video. You are the true warriors of this channel and I'm glad to have you here. So keep on rocking with us by clicking this video here on the left to learn about strategies and in-game updates or click this video on the right if you want to see some action.